All right, uh, Shalom. I want to first off and foremost give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechach, Kodash, double down to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth to sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Camp, coming back again with another quick lesson. And as always, Lord will it be edifying to the elect. All right, so uh, I want to go uh, through the, you know, through the spear into a topic. Uh, basically, on what man the Lord, uh, you know, not only that uh, the salvation of what the Israelites are uh, nigh. All right, you have uh, us uh, being scattered abroad. Okay, and into what all the places that Yahweh Shemashah has driven us. All right, what once we uh fell away. Okay, all right, you have what famine of the word it is uh approaching. All right, but what man uh this is. Basically, only being pushed out for the elect, okay? Only for the elect, all right? The, the Habba Shem Shah didn't uh, uh, basically totally do away with us, all right? He only uh, put us away for a, a certain uh, period of time, all right? And you have what? Uh, the northern tribes and the southern tribes coming back together, all right? You have uh, what? That one stick being put back together, okay? And, and, and what? That's going to lead to us being uh, delivered, all right? So um, this is Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, I say then, the most I have not cast away his people. Okay. Who is the Lord's people? All right. Real quick. Uh, let me see which one. I'm going to grab Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right. It says, for, for thou art in holy people unto the most high, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people upon so like it unto himself above all people upon the face of the earth. All right. And who is he speaking to? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Okay. You Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. On this side of Jordan, the wilderness, and the plain over the over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hazarot and Dizah, Diz, Dizahab. Okay. So he was speaking to the Israelites. All right. So the Lord didn't totally, totally uh, cast away his people. All right. And we're going to get further more to that point. It says uh, the most high forbid, you see, so that they basically clarifies that he didn't. It says, for I also am an Israelite. All right. Going back to who? Uh, the Lord's people of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. OK, the most high has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Okay, the Lord foreknew his people. It says, uh, Jude chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, I will therefore put you in, in remembrance. All right, and that's what you have today. Okay, with, with what? Yahweh Bashim Shai used all the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down. All right. It says, uh, I will therefore put you in, in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. So two thirds of our people in today are, are going to be destroyed likewise. OK, when you go to uh, the book of uh, Zechariah uh, three, you see, because it, it tells you what, man, uh, two thirds of our people will be destroyed. OK, they're not going to hearken. They, they have not been put into a remembrance. All right. Only the elect has been put into remembrance in this time. All right. It says, uh, what ye not that the scripture said of Elias, how he make an intercession to the most high against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars. And I am left alone and they seek my life. But what said the answer of the most high to him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men. All right. And this was what in the time of Baal. It says, whoever not bow thy time, bow thy knee. To the image of Baal, okay, and, and that's uh also spiritual. Seven thousand minutes with co completion, okay. It says even so. Then at this present time, in today's time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace, okay. And grace have been stowed only upon the elect because what the Lord have given uh uh the elect that grace that grace period to what get things right, you know, to actually turn away and repent from uh, the the wicked deeds that we have been uh basically. Um, consumed in. All right. Let me grab Romans, uh, the ninth chapter real quick. 
All right, it says, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. Just verifying who are the Israelites. It says, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren. Going back to what? The, the Lord's chosen people. Okay. My kinsmen according to the flesh. All right. It wasn't a uh, 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 spiritually uh, uh, grafting Israelites. No, that's, that's, that's not possible. Okay. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertained the adoption? All right. The adoption goes right back to what? Us being uh, reconciled back into the fold. All right. And the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. Whose are the fathers in whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came? So Yahweh Shah came to fulfill that, okay? To fulfill what him uh dying for, for the elect's sake to be brought back into that fold. Okay? And ultimately what do the will of the Most High, all right, do the will of Yahweh Shah and be delivered. It says and the service of the Most High and the promises. It says, who is over all, Yahweh shall be blessed forever. All right? So what, man? That just uh, validates that point that the Lord didn't totally cast us away. All right? We won't get further more to this point. Let me, uh, this is going to the book of Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, they say, they say, if a man put away his wife... All right, and we know that what uh, Israel is considered as a woman to uh, the heavenly father. All right, it says, if a man put away his wife and she go from him, and become another man's another man's, shall he return to her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again unto me. Said Yahweh Shimei Al Shah. All right, and and that's what's gonna happen. We'll turn back to the Lord. Okay, why? Because the Lord didn't uh do uh this. All right, the Lord didn't uh get Isaiah fifty one. The Lord didn't write us a bill of uh divorcement. All right, I don't want to jump the gun too much, but just uh go through the spirit. This is Isaiah fifteen one. It says, "Thus said Yahweh, Where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away, or which of my creditors is it to?" Whom I have sold you. Behold, for your iniquities have ye sold yourselves, and for your transgressions your mother is put away. You see? It says, Wherefore I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all, that it cannot redeem? <laughs> or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke I dry up the sea, I make the rivers a wilderness, they're fish stinking because there's no water and die for thirst. You know, so all of these doings are of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. And it's ultimately telling you that what, man, the Lord didn't totally do away with us. Okay? He didn't uh, write us a bill of divorcement. Okay? Because we know that once you get that bill, you're totally done away with. All right? This is what the Lord did. Uh, in the book of. Let me, uh, Yeah, the book of Hosea, chapter 15 and verse 5. It says, and I will go. Uh, it says, and I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. You see? Until. Until. Okay. Let me get the definition of uh until. Oh, sloggy. It says up to the point. Oh, so like I'm gonna just go into. Uh, let me see. Sir, yeah. All right. It says until. It says up to the time that or when till. See up to what a, a specific time. Until when it says till they acknowledge their offense, and then what when we acknowledge our offense, we would basically make a um. Get get acquainted with your house by outside, and that's why it tells you what seek the Lord while he may be found. Okay, so when we seek him, we would get acquainted with the Lord and repent. All right, repent and totally stop doing uh all the uh, iniquities. Okay, our transgressions, breaking the laws. Okay, it says and seek my face in their affliction; they will seek me early. You see. And now even some more is the times to where you should be seeking your house by Shimei outside. All right.
Let me go back to Jeremiah and uh, grab uh, the 18th verse. So, yeah, man, uh, and the only ones that can seek the Lord is uh, <laughs> is the elect, you know, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you know, because two-thirds have been blinded, all right? And, and these heathens, it tells you what, uh, if you're going to worship on uh, Yahweh Shema Shai, you must worship him in spirit and truth, and along with doing that, it's calling upon the name, all right, praising him. And we know that what the Lord's name is fearful among the heathen, all right? So that just cuts that uh, you people can be grafted in, all right? It has never been done, and it never will be done, all right? This is uh, Jeremiah 3 and 18. It says, In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north, all right? Majority of the elect are going to come out of what? America, Okay. Out, out of the land of the north. It says, to the land that I have given you for an inheritance unto your fathers. All right? Let me go into, while I'm here, I'm going to just jump to 23. It says, "Uh, well, you know what? I'll start at 22. It says, return, ye backsliding children, and I will hear your backslidings. You see, repent. All right? And, and turn back to what? Your, your uh, uh, righteous ways of walking. Okay? It says, behold. We come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our power. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills. All right? And the hills are uh, basically uh, set up high. All right? That's uh, speaking of the heathen nations. All right? They're high in stature right now. It says, and from the multitude of the mountains. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai, our power is the salvation of Israel. Okay? So we're being uh, basically uh, adopted back into the fold to what? Be delivered, all right? To uh, basically be deemed of salvation, okay? That's exactly what's going to happen, all right? And no one is is going to uh, be able to stop that, okay? Real quick, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 3, all right? It says, and I will gather... Uh, it says, and I will gather the, the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them. All right. Because what? They have been adopted and brought back into their fold. It says, and I will bring them again to their foes and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them that shall feed them with what? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Going back to Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, and they shall fear no more. Nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking. They shall not be lacking of their bread or of their water. Okay, said Yahweh. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And that's is that's that's what's gonna uh, basically spring forth out of our nation. All right, it says, in his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name whereby he shall be called the Lord, our righteousness. All right, so yeah, man. Uh, we're basically set up to be uh, building the, the house of David now, okay? And, and it says what? That that branch is going to be, uh, it, it says that righteous branch, okay? And a king shall reign and prosper, all right? A king is, is Yahweh Shai, okay? He's going to he's gonna uh, reign and, and give out righteousness uh, throughout the earth, all right? Righteousness is going to spring from Yahweh Shai, all right? And the elect, okay? And that's why uh, Yahweh Shai had to come. Let me see uh real quick. Con, this is uh Matthew 5 and 17. It says, Think think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Alright? And and we went to Romans and Jeremiah, alright, and Hosea, and it said, what man, the Lord, uh, well, we had to be adopted back into that fold, all right? And one thing that Yahweh Shai came to do was to fulfill with the law. Now, let's see in the law real quick something that Yahweh Shai fulfilled, and this was only for the elect, all right? Because we know that what once uh, you you have to be uh, basically adopted, the only one that can save you is someone of your uh, your brother, okay, uh, someone of your nation, Okay, so this is Leviticus chapter 6 and 30. It says, and no sin offering, first off, who is sin given to? All right. Sin is what? The, the transgression of the law. Okay, and the laws are only given to Israel. It says, and no sin offering whereof any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of the congregation to reconcile 
withal in the holy place shall be eaten, it shall be burnt in the fire. We know that what Yahweh Shai, um, Yahweh Shai, uh, basically was with that sacrificial lamb for, for for us, okay. And this was all done what through the law, okay. This was all done through the law, all right, to reconcile, to bring back the reconciliation. Spell it right now. All right. All right. This is Colossians chapter one. And uh I'll start at verse 19. All right. Well, you know what? I'll start at 18. It says, and he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, which is Yahweh Shai, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross. You see, by him being uh, that sacrificial lamb, all right, with uh, his, his blood shed upon the elect, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you, and you, that were sometime in, a, alienated, all right, and your and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now have he reconciled. You see, when you go to uh First Corinthians the twelfth chapter, you know, once once you uh you 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 once knew this, you know you you were uh, Gentiles, you see, because what we we were uh, consumed by those wicked works. It says, yet now had he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unblameable. And unreprovable in his sight. And that's why you have Romans, uh, so like it, Revelations, the 14th chapter. Okay. It says, uh, Roman, Revelations 14 and 4. These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Because what? Their blood of Yahweh Shai basically cleanses away all of our transgressions for the, uh, the, the ones that we, uh, basically, uh, can't answer for. All right. It says, so like the ones that we uh, basically just uh, can't keep do uh, by the way of us being in this captivity says these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and unto the lamb. And in their mouth was found no God. That's how we are able to be unblameable, unreprovable before his sight. OK, it says for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Shimei Shai. You see? So this is only speaking of the elect. So no, the Lord didn't totally cast away his people because if he, if he did, it wouldn't be no one to uh, come and get delivered. You know, it, it wouldn't be none to, uh, no, no elect men to come uh, deliver out of this hell hole that we're in. You see? So yeah, man, uh, the elect are, are going to be found favorable in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? No matter what. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this uh, quick topic was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakak, Dash, Double Line City Elders and Apostles, Great Millstone, and Rule Well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, Shalom.